Love is an open door with you. With you. With you. With you. Love is an open door. wrote eight songs and one reprise for the film and our process basically starts with talking every single day for 18 months we had a conference call from 12 to 2 and we with, would with just with, with, the, with, with the, the filmmakers, filmmakers with right. Jennifer Lee and Chris Buck and we would just talk about who is Anna what does she want who is Elsa why does she do what she does? Um, what? Who do they need to interact with for their journeys to happen? Um, this we would do every single day, and we would attack different moments in the film, like a problem that we had to solve. And sometimes they would be solved by let's do this musically. Sometimes it would be oh no, this this feels like dialogue. Let's do that dialogue. But it was a whole. The arc of the story was the first. And then the next beat of turning it into a song usually started with... Right, well, that was the two of us, talking and talking once again about what the characters wanted, how they get from point A to point B. Because the, the songs need to serve the story. If the songs don't do any storytelling work, then they don't belong in a, in a film like this. So, um, so it was us talking and talking, getting uh, ideas for rhymes, getting... Um, inspiration for the, for the music of the song. And then by the end of a day or two of talking, usually we had the, all the raw material we'd need to write it. And then it would usually go pretty quickly Right, after that. once you found the hook, and the hook, for instance, a, a hook is, let it go, let it go, where you've got both <coughs> melody and words that are, are telling a story. And once you have that, you can build around that. And, uh, and some hooks came easy, like let it go, because she had to let go of her past and let, let go, let her power go. What, why do you shut the world out? What are you so afraid of? I said enough! Once you have a character who sings with this amount of emotion, she couldn't be the villain anymore. And we put ourselves in the mindset of someone who would leave everything behind and be stuck out on a mountain, and, and how cold and scared she would be at that moment and singing, the snow glows white on the mountain tonight, not a footprint to be seen. A kingdom of isolation, and it looks like I'm the queen. The wind is howling like this swirling storm inside Couldn't keep it in, heaven knows I tried Don't let them in, don't let them see Be the good girl you always have to be Conceal, don't feel, don't let them know does it much better than I do. <laughs> but once yeah, once you find once we found that song, we had building blocks for the rest of the movie. Do you want to build a snowman or ride our bike around the halls? I think some company is overdue. I started talking to the pictures on the walls. Hang in there, Joe. We were attracted to the film uh, first by this image that we were shown. Um, one of the artists did of two sisters uh, behind one and one was behind a door and uh, we knew that the story was a story of two sisters um, and, and the love of a family um, a kind family of, that's broken or, or yeah, divided by fear because of an incident that causes fear to to basically create a giant divide between these two sisters and I think that there are a <coughs> lot of families who who have these kind of rifts that where someone can be uh, frozen by fear uh, related to lots of different things. And we are in a family. We're <laughs> husband and wife and we have two young daughters um, and we see this, we see... Um, we see this dynamic. We see what it's like to, uh, to on have... On a smaller scale. Uh, on a much smaller <laughs> scale. Um, but to have the older daughter slam the door and the younger daughter to be like, please, won't you play dolls with me? And that Breaks kind of heart. inspired the, um, do you want to build a snowman song? Mm -hmm. Uh, do you want Which, to play a little bit of that? Yes. This song, our daughter actually sings a part of it. That's right. Do you want to build a snowman? Come on, let's go 
and play I never see you anymore Come out the door It's like you're gone away We used to be best buddies And now we're not I wish you would tell me why Do you want to build a snowman? She goes through the door It doesn't have to be a snowman Okay, bye And you can hear Elsa's fear motif right in there that Christoph Beck actually used throughout the score to talk about this divide and this isolation that Elsa is living in. Hi, everyone. I'm Olaf, and I like warm hugs. Olaf? Um, Olaf is this cute little snowman who, um, he has this charming quality of being totally naive because he was just kind of born a few days ago. He was created by Elsa a few days ago. And, and he's, he's, in, he's brought to life by Josh Gad, <coughs> who also is one of the funniest men on the planet, as we learned through Book of Mormon. Um, and uh, Bobby really understood how Josh can do naive, mm -hmm. um, and and we got to kind of bring that out with him. Um, imagine, uh, imagine you've got a snowman. He's very naive, and he starts saying, "Oh, I love to dream about summer and all things hot." You do it. Bees will buzz. Kids will blow dandelion fuzz, and I'll be doing whatever snow does in summer. Poor Olaf, he doesn't know. A drink. In my <laughs> <mouth>. <laughs>